hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is daniel and if you're new here welcome i hope you'll join the family subscribe if you have been here you know the drill like the video comment and let's have a good time so i did tell you guys that i moved or i'm gonna move and it has happened i'm no well i wouldn't say i moved i just i'm still in switzerland um i just relocated for a while because i got a job on the farm as you would have seen on the, in the title that um, i'm now living on a swiss farm um why did i choose to do that stick around for the rest of this video and i'll give you all the information This is when you live on a farm and trying to do YouTube video. This is a scarf and I'm making it into a hat to hide my messy head. Then I'm gonna use this monitor to put my lipstick on. Do I look presentable? This is what I'm trying to hide from you guys so Oh, girl, beautiful. Now I'm ready. <laughs> so, yes, I'm now living on a farm in St. Gallen, just before the Alpine um, region of Switzerland. So it is very high, but not so high. It's not like in the Alps, but it's be just before the Alps. So how did this happen? Why did I decide to get a job on a farm? Um... I did study agriculture and since high school I've been doing agriculture I did my um, certificate in agriculture my college in agriculture and I even went to University of the West Indies in St. Augustine to do agriculture unfortunately I didn't finish that degree but I transferred the credit to um, the Royal Agricultural University in England which is a farming agricultural um, college no university and I completed my degree there but when I came here um, I just didn't know what to do I got an internship with a technology company to make some videos for um, for animal feed so that was kind of a little bit of insight but I really didn't get too much insight in the industry because they are dealing with technology and machineries even though it's making animal feed products it was still not the same so anyways that finished didn't get a job there because of course I didn't study technology and more on the um, farming side and commercial side of agriculture so long story short um, a friend of mine Harriet pick up yourself Harriet if you're watching she, she she suggested to me to go to RAV so what RAV is in Switzerland is if you're unemployed you go and register with RAV as unemployed and they basically give you a personal um, a, 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 a counselor who will sit with you and kind of go through what are your qualifications what do you have you know all of that and um, they give you suggestions, help you to go in different directions, right? Help you to go in the right direction. So most, I was always discouraged not to go to RAV by, not by malicious people, but just, you know, the perception of RAV is that you, you lost your job, you were probably, you don't, you know, somehow you need help because they do pay you up to 80% of your salary your previous salary so if you've lost your job you've been working over a year then RAV will give you a hundred uh, up to 80% up to 80% of what you've you were earning and to get that you have to do a number of things you have to apply for like eight to ten jobs per month you know it's very strict in order for you to get that money so I didn't work for one year in Switzerland I worked for six months so I wasn't eligible to get any money but 
I still got help. So a lot of people do not know that RAV can be used proactively. So instead of just um, sitting down, being puzzled, go to RAV. If you're in Switzerland or planning to move to Switzerland, go to RAV. Let them know what you have, what your qualifications are, what you can do. And your personal baratering, it's called, um, in, it's like a personal counselor. She will create an anzeige for you, an, an advert for you, and put that on the internet. Um, there's a platform called, uh, I can't remember, but she put, she, she or he will put that, your profile on that platform. And then people who are looking for, um, our, um, workers with that skill, with your skill, can find you online. So that's what happened to me, really. I I was able to go on the site and look for jobs and um, people who are looking for um, employees, they can also look. So we kind of meet, you know. My personal counselor, she suggested that I do two CVs, right? One with my um, social media experience because I've spent so many, much time on social media, creating videos, YouTube experience, which she told me is very useful. So create one um, CV for that and one CV for my agricultural farming background. And she also suggested a website called um, zalp.ch. So these are, this is a website you can find work on farms all over Switzerland. There are seasonal jobs and now is a good time. So she told me about this. I was looking, calling around. And then one day I was just home and I got a call from my now um, boss. And she asked, they told me what um, they're offering and if I would be interested in coming to the farm and have a talk with them and look around and see the farm. Then we said, okay, we will, we will contact you in the evening. And then Hanu and I looked over all the documents and what they were offering. And then we called them in the evening and told them, yeah, I would like to come and see the place. I was so excited about this. One, because uh, I really wanted to do this because I know when I do this, it will get me back. It, not get me back, but... I know when I do this, I'll get more insight in the industry. And I've been here now for a week and, let me say, I've been here now a week and a half because today's Wednesday and I've gotten so much insight in the agriculture, the, the agricultural ecosystem in Switzerland, you would not believe. And it gets me back into something I really like doing because I really like agriculture um, not the plant side so much. I prefer to work with animals, even though I'm scared of animals a bit. But it's, I'm not really scared of animals. It's just I need to get to know them, you know. I need to get to know the temperament of the animal. Then I'm good. So, yeah. I've gotten a lot of insights. And, um, that's what I wanted. That's why I took this job. Mainly to get insight into the agricultural ecosystem of Switzerland. What, what's going on here? The second reason I took this job was to learn more German. So I'm living here. I forgot to say I live here from Monday to... I can live here the whole time I'm here. But I'm here and I go home on Saturdays and spend the weekend with my family. The position is for... The, the, the job is for two months two to three months they've told me and it's really just helping around um with whatever needs to be done Mo my job mostly is to feed the animal i make the mixture there's a special mixture we make for them um i make that and um feed the calves and clean the dung because we have to keep the stall very clean um because we're making milk not for drinking or, or we produce milk not for drinking but for a very special swiss cheese appenzella cheese and there are certain criteria that we have to follow so this job i'm doing is usually done by the wife of the farmer but she has a problem with the risk so we do it together actually so we feed the we have four shifts in the morning we feed the calves in the 
well later morning I go and wash the stalls and in the afternoon so I have like a three hours break in the afternoon I go and feed the animals again um, and in the evening we feed the calves again so it's really straightforward it's nothing technical but my boss is super super cool and whatever I want to know I can ask him anything he gave me a bunch of magazines to read um, to have an idea of what t um, breed of cow is good for for um for cheese production so yesterday i was driving the tractor and helping him with um pasture management so it's really there's so much to learn i'm so excited and now i'm thinking hmm, maybe i can i can from this kind of decide what I want to do my master's in because I've always like thinking mm, what do I really like what do I really like but now at the age of 33 I'm oof, I've grown so much it's incredible I've grown so much and um, now I kind of know what I want to do there are a few things that I love to do but in terms of career wise I know I'm I'm still learning. I still don't I'm not really sure because of my environment because I'm not in Jamaica. So I have to take myself out of that Jamaican agricultural Caribbean agricultural setting and kind of learn what's here. What do the Swiss do? What do they offer? What, you know, how it works here because it's completely different. Anyways, that's how I ended up on a farm. I'm very happy. Um, I have a lot of time to reflect on my life because there's absolute after work there's absolutely nothing to do so um the rest of the vlogs for the next I can say two months will be about I will try to show you as much as possible like some um, husbandry practices when we're out in the fields, whatever we're doing, I'll try to show you how we feed the calves. Um, I don't think I can show you the recipe of what we make for the, the cows, but I'll try to show you like how I prepare for like a feeding session or something like that. So um, I hope you stick around with me and experience with me this Swiss experience. So thank you guys for listening. And I'll see you in the next one. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe, share, and like this video. And comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what you would like to see. Like, if you have any question about um, dairy farming here in Switzerland, let me know what you would like to see, okay? Have a nice day, and I'll talk to you in the next one.